Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Natalia Lee. I'm an indie author and the managing editor at Enchanted Ink Publishing. And today I am celebrating because I finally finished the first draft of the third and final book in my Paranormal Romance Trilogy. I am so happy, I'm so excited about it. So we're going to talk kind of briefly on that, uh, but then this is going to transition into a writing vlog because my goal is to try to finish the first draft of my contemporary romance here in the next two weeks. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Um, I think I'm sitting at about 40,000 words in it right now, but we will uh, take a look at that here in a little bit. So yeah, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so first and foremost, I finished the first draft of the final book in my Paranormal Romance trilogy. Now, it always feels good to finish a book. I have never finished a book and felt disappointed or sad or anything like that. And even though this is the final book in that trilogy and it is my first time finishing a series with a cast of characters. Um, I don't feel any sadness about it. I really feel excited. I feel very proud of myself because this is the first time I have successfully written a series and I feel like I have learned so much. I have really grown as a writer and as a storyteller and I am honestly very happy with where this first draft is sitting. When I wrote the first draft of the second book in the trilogy, I had a feeling something was a little bit wrong with it. And then when I was working through um, one of my revision passes, it kind of hit me that there were developmental and structural revisions that needed to happen. So I have those vlogs on my channel, you know, going back through and making all of those big revisions. But this book doesn't feel like that. Um, this book feels really strong to me. There were no scenes in which I felt bored and that has become um, kind of like a guiding light for me. If I am feeling bored when I'm writing something, that might be a sign that something is wrong with that scene, that readers are going to be bored, that I am slowing the pace down too much because of course we want, um, we want some variation in the pacing in our stories. We can't be breakneck the whole time and we can't go to snail's pace the whole time. So there does need to be that variation, but I have started to feel when something is not quite right. And I attribute that to all of the writing I've been doing lately. I took a multi-year hiatus and I have suddenly returned to writing feeling more invigorated than ever and I have been writing so consistently that I think I am picking up a lot of new skills that I didn't have before. So this book feels really solid to me. I am of course going to do a round of developmental revisions. I always do that, but I don't think there's going to be that much work to do, which is very exciting because that is one of the slowest parts of the process for me is that development of the story. So if that can get done relatively quickly, I could potentially move my release date up on this. And I actually looked at my calendar today and already have been able to move some things up. So we'll probably talk about that too. I'm gonna pull my computer out here. We are gonna look at where it is sitting in the first draft currently. All right, so the first draft of book three, I finished it this morning. I wrote the epilogue this morning and it was 18, about 1800 words. I felt so happy in that scene. So much came together. So many little plot threads were tied up and it just felt very warming to write it. Um, so I wrote the epilogue this morning before kind of like getting out of bed and starting work for the day, which I talked about in my massive writing update slash Q and I'll link it down below if you didn't see it. It's a very long video, but it has um, timestamps so you can navigate easily to the questions that interest you. Uh, but I finished it this morning and it is sitting at 49,890 words. So we're only 110 off from 50K. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna round up and say that draft one is sitting at about 50K. Um, definitely an underwriter, definitely kind of a bare bones writer. And that has just come with with time and like development of my style. I used to very much be an overwriter. I think the first draft of Song of the Dryad came in at 115,000 words. 
Um, so I wrote a lot more than I needed to, but that for me is just, it was part of the process. So book three is done. My mom bought us a uh, vegan pizza and a calzone tonight to celebrate. Thank you, mom. Really appreciate it. Greg even went and picked me up um, some, what is this? It's the first time I'm drinking this. It is Sippin' Pretty Fruited Sour. It's from a brewing company in Fort Collins, Colorado. I uh, went to I went to college in Fort Collins. I love Fort Collins. And I know that there are some people who watch my videos that live there because I have emailed some of you. Um, but yeah, it's from a brewing company in Fort Collins and it's like a fruity ale and it's so good. And today feels like a true spring day. Like I have a fan on right now and I fed the horses in just a hoodie and Greg even let the horses out into the pasture for a while today. They didn't really want to stay out there because there's not much green grass yet. It's really quite brown and soggy and snowy still, but it feels like a spring day. So today everything feels like it is right in the world. It just feels like a glorious, glorious, cheerful day. And I finished my book and I have a little bit of alcohol, so it's good. <laughs> so what is going to be next for me? Focusing on the contemporary romance. The contemporary romance might be the easiest book I've ever written. Um, for many years, I have said that Pistol Daisy is the easiest book I've ever written. And the first draft of her book was definitely easy. I would have to go back to my Januarymo videos I did years ago to see how long it actually took me to write her book. But the contemporary I'm working on right now, it's certainly a much bigger book. I mean, it's already over 37,000 words in and I am just over the midpoint. I think it's sitting at 40K and I've written 15, 15 chapters. No, I've written 18 chapters and I have 13 to go, I think. All right, so for this contemporary romance, I outlined it a little bit differently and I will talk about this in my outlining video. So I outlined this with a four act structure rather than a three act structure. And part of that is because act two, I think can be really challenging. I have always found plotting and writing act two to be the most difficult part of the process because it's a huge chunk of the book and it is the middle of the book and it can be really hard or at least it has been historically for me really hard to structure plot points in a coherent and interesting way and i started learning about the four act structure and how that can be helpful in terms of breaking down that um, kind of muddy middle so I did a four act structure for this. I am currently in act three, just kind of at the beginning of act three. I'm working on chapter 19 out of 31 chapters, which means I am over halfway in, but I still have quite a chunk of the manuscript to write. And it is sitting at 40,000 words. So my guess at this point is we're gonna come in around 60 or 70,000 for the first draft of this book. And I want to try to finish it by April 16th. That is gonna be my goal because I want to give myself two weeks off from book three in my trilogy. And that is because I have definitely learned that I find it helpful to step away and the amount of time I need to step away varies from project to project. This one I've been working on for three months. No, I think just over two months actually, because I started at the end of January. I worked all of February, all of March, and now we're at the very beginning of April. So I worked on that book actually just over two months it took me to write that draft. I've been thinking three months, but my timing is obviously off. Uh, so I was in that world for a while, but everything came together so smoothly that I don't feel I need a huge chunk of time away from it to like process the mess that it is because thankfully it's not a mess. Um, and I also don't want to start losing any details because since it is a series, it is a trilogy, I wanna make sure that I am remembering all of the relevant details and not forgetting things and not tying up plot threads and that type of mess that could happen if I forget my own stories and then have to go back and reread them. So. I'm gonna give myself two weeks off 
and during that two week time, I want to try to finish my contemporary romance. Um, I have been working on it in the evenings. Again, it has been pretty easy to write in this book in the evenings, even after a full work day. And I've been pretty easily getting 1000 to like 1500 words down every night on this contemporary. But starting tomorrow, this book is going to take the place of my book three. And I'm going to start writing in the morning before I get out of bed and then potentially also in the evening if I'm feeling up to it. So I could potentially be getting like two to 3000 words a day, depending on my energy levels. I am going to turn on some lights, feed me, probably fill up my water and I'm going to start writing a little bit and we're just going to see what we get done tonight. So thank you for joining me. Let's dive in. Okay, I'm writing something kind of fun right now, so I wanted to, to tell you about it. Um, essentially, my main character is visiting the love interest's home for the first time in this scene, and he, like I mentioned earlier, assuming that doesn't get cut, um, he is a celebrity. He absolutely lives the lifestyle of the rich and the famous, and I don't have the first idea about what a house in like the Hollywood Hills actually looks like on the inside. So I had so much fun last night going on Zillow. I went on Zillow, I picked out the neighborhood that I want him to live in and I opened up the search and I went through a few different houses until I found the one that I feel really fits my character's vibe and I like just grab some photos off of Zillow and I put them in a folder so that I can quickly refer back to them whenever I am writing scenes in his house or when I am trying to describe and lay out details about what his house looks like. And it's really fun being able to kind of vicariously live through this character. And I literally picked out like a $5 million house in the Hollywood Hills and that's where he gets to live. So I am writing a scene where my female, my main character, because I write in one POV. I just write from the woman's point of view. She's at his house for the first time and she's kind of like stepping through these glass doors onto his balcony that overlooks um, downtown LA and it's like dusk and the lights are coming on. And it's just so much fun writing a scene that is so absolutely opposite to the lifestyle that I live. Uh, but yeah, that is something I have really enjoyed in this book is finding homes on Zillow and then saving them in folders so that I can really quickly access them and uh, refer back to them later. So if you're writing a contemporary and you're having a hard time figuring out what a character's house looks like, Zillow might be your friend. Okay, just to show you, this is this is the balcony of the house where my main now character lives, that is downtown LA. I mean, look at that kitchen, look at that. So this is where he lives. Okay, it is 8.45. I've been writing for maybe an hour and a half or so, and I'm tired, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. And I wanted to update you with my word count. I ended up writing 1,910 words. So 1,900 words, plus the 1800 I wrote this morning. I'm sitting at about 3,700 words today and I did a full 
full day of editing um, for my copy editing client. So that is a pretty dense uh, story day. Uh, so 1900 words tonight. I finished chapter, I finished chapter 19. I started chapter 20 and I am very excited with where this is going, but uh, it is time for me to get ready for bed. So I'm going to take Mew here. <laughs> See her little paws? Hi, baby. Are you ready for bed? I think you look ready for bed too. <laughs> All right, so we are going to head to bed. I need to go take my makeup off and brush my hair. And uh, hopefully I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Happy Thursday. Um, I last checked in with you last night when I was working on my contemporary romance. I worked on it this morning as well. Um, kind of while I was waking up, I think I started work on it at like 6.30 and I wrote until 7.30. And I got just over 1,100 or 1,200 words written. So really good progress this morning. It was it was relatively smooth sailing, I would say, and uh, depending on what time I finish up work today, I would like to try to work on that contemporary again tonight. So if I do end up writing later, I will follow up with you then, but I just wanted to give you a little update. And now I'm going to get back to my EIP work. Hello friends, it is later in the evening on Thursday. It's 5 p.m. I finished my work for the day. I was so caught up in the story. It is such a good story. I was so caught up in it that I actually edited more pages than I needed to. And that is a semi rare occurrence. So I was really just caught up in the story and I'm having a great time with it. Uh, but I finished my pages for the day. I just finished writing a letter back to Lisa. Lisa, if you are out there, thank you so much for the letter. Thank you so much for the amazingly generous birthday gift. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, we're supposed to be going grocery shopping tomorrow, so I will probably drop it off along the way, drop it off while we are out. So I wrote my letter and I'm making dinner. I've got some uh, Spanish rice and like meatless crumbles and some seasoned black beans cooking up. So I'm going to put those into I'm gonna roll those into burritos and I'm gonna smother them in green chili and it's gonna be delicious So I'm making dinner wrote my letter finished all my pages. Uh, like I said, it's 5 p.m I might do a little bit of yoga. My neck is feeling stiff from kind of you know sitting here writing over the past week sitting in bed writing like constantly having my head and my neck down so I think I might do a little bit of yoga tonight and then I want to continue working on the contemporary romance. It is going to be a huge challenge finishing it in two weeks. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but I want to at least try, try to push myself a little bit while I have the energy and the excitement. I have learned that my energy levels really fluctuate. And uh, that's something that I've probably noticed over the past year. And I'm leaning more into that this year and when I'm high energy, I essentially like allow myself to go and go and go as much as I want, because then I know that when I'm low energy, I'm pretty much just gonna wanna sit here on the couch playing Stardew Valley and eating chips. <laughs> so when I'm feeling good and feeling energetic, I'm going to try to um, commit that to something positive, like writing my next book. So I'm gonna go stir the rice and the beans. I can hear them kind of sizzling and losing their water over there. And then I'm going to take my letter, put it in an envelope, prep that so that it's ready to go tomorrow. And we'll probably dive into a little bit of uh, writing. Gotta feed the horses too, but we feed around like six, 6.30 now. So there's not a huge rush there, but yeah. Let's get dinner fixed up and get started on some writing. Hello friends, happy Friday. It is Friday evening at about 6 p.m. We just got back from the grocery store and we picked up the mail 
and one of the recent books craft books i ordered came in this is a used copy of the conflict thesaurus and if you've been here for any amount of time you've probably heard me talk about how Conflict is one of those things, one of those elements in my writing that I have to work really hard at. It's not, it's becoming a little bit more natural, but it's still a struggle for me. I'm not naturally good at writing conflict into my stories. So when I saw this on Amazon, I wanted to give it a go. I think I'm going to do a little bit of yoga and watch some YouTube and then I want to write tonight. Yesterday was a wonderful writing day. I ended up writing about 3,100 words on my contemporary and I did a full editing day. So it is just going really, really well with this contemporary. And then I wrote this morning and I can't remember if I wrote 1,100 or 1,300 words. I wanna say I wrote 1,300 words this morning. Uh, and I want to write some more tonight. You know, it'd be cool if I could write another 700 or 1,000 words and break into the 2K range for the day. So far, I have finished, I think I have finished two chapters since I started this vlog. Because I had mentioned that I had 14 days to write 13 chapters, which was pretty much one chapter a day. And I have been keeping up with that, kind of. I mean, I, I am almost done. I am this close to finishing another chapter so that'll be three chapters since I started this vlog and yeah three chapters three days so I actually am on track to finish this book in two weeks so we'll see how that goes uh, but yeah I'm going to grab my yoga mat roll it out um, maybe watch a little bit of YouTube wind down and then we are going to get to writing and I will let you know what I think of this uh, guidebook once I dive into it a little bit more. Hello friends and happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, April 10th. On Saturday, I essentially did a rough outline of a brand new contemporary romance. So I'm quite excited about that. Uh, so yeah, I did that on Saturday and then refocused on my current contemporary romance. And as it turns out, uh, I'm very excited to share with you that I finished my contemporary romance today. So last Wednesday, I finished book three of my paranormal romance trilogy. One week later today, Wednesday the 10th, I finished the first draft of my contemporary. So I'm kind of blowing my own mind right now. I have never, never in my life been able to write this fast and, uh, I attribute it to multiple things, but I think the big thing is just that I'm very excited about what I'm writing. I absolutely love writing romance books and I'm just joyful. Like I absolutely love this and the morning time writing, which I talked about in my previous video. Um, I will link it down below if you haven't seen it yet. Writing in the mornings has made a huge difference for me. Uh, but anyway, I have my first draft pulled up here, my completed first draft. It is sitting at 60,666 words. So it is um, a bit longer than the book three that I just finished. That one was complete at 49,890. So we're just gonna say 50. So a 50K and a 60K, I now have two complete first drafts. And both of these, um, I think are sitting in a really good place developmentally. Of course, there is work to be done um, to the content of the stories, and I will be tackling those, obviously, but I am very happy and confident with where both of these are sitting right now. I think the, I know that the paranormal has some incomplete scenes that I need to write. I talked to you about that already. The Contemporary does not. I wrote through it beginning to end. There are no incomplete scenes. Um, I do have a few notes for myself about little, little details and little um, scenes that I need to add to make sure that all of my plot threads are tying up nicely and that I'm not leaving anything kind of billowing in the breeze because this is a standalone. Um, I believe, I feel like it has potential for like a spinoff with another character but I'm not certain about that. I'm not getting strong vibes of wanting to write that character, so I might not ever choose to. Uh, so this book, The Contemporary, really does need to be wrapped up 
nicely with no, no, you know, loose plot threads, like I said. So both of these are done. I actually, I mentioned earlier in this video that I was going to have two weeks to finish this book and I finished it in one week. So now I have an entire week where I can either work on something else or I can just take a break from writing, or I could move my entire calendar up. And I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I might play around with that outline, that new contemporary romance outline a little bit. And I did go into my publication schedule today, and because I finished this book when I wasn't really sure I was going to, because the contemporary is done, a really solid first draft, I was able to move some, um, editing dates around and I think I'm going to be able to get this out in October and we'll see about the paranormal romance. Um, I've mentioned that that's scheduled for the end of July right now. If the developmental revisions go really well and it doesn't take me as long as I think it's going to, um, I think I have like five, I have like four or five weeks I think planned for developmental revisions on this. If it doesn't take that long then again everything gets moved up because the way I have my calendar scheduled is I have um, back to back projects essentially. So here I'm doing a developmental revision and then maybe I'm doing, um, you know, maybe I'm working on the first draft of something else, then I'm coming back for a line editing pass and then I'm working on something else. So everything is back to back to back, which means if something doesn't take me as long, everything gets to move up. My publication probably gets to move up. So that is very exciting. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and give you an update on that. I had originally intended to just film this vlog like over the course of two weeks and see if I was able to finish my contemporary. But now that it's done, I wanted to wrap it up. I wanted to give you the good news. And from here, um, I'm not sure what we'll be transitioning into here in a, in a week or so. We will certainly be switching back to uh, the paranormal romance and doing developmental revisions on that. And then from there, I think it's going to be a little bit of a back and forth. So then I'll give myself like a week or so with the contemporary, go back to the paranormal for the line edit pass, give myself a little break. And I'm just going to go back and forth and back and forth until the paranormal is completely done and it is ready to go out to arc readers, be formatted, that kind of stuff. And once I hit that point, uh, the hard mental work is essentially done. And then I transition kind of full brain power into the contemporary. And I will be kind of bringing you along on that publication journey with me. I, um, I love write, watching writing vlogs, but I also really love watching publication vlogs and following along with authors as they are prepping and planning to actually release a book versus, you know, being in the, the trenches of writing the book. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you will enjoy following along with my publication journey. I hope the spring or I guess the fall, <laughs> depending on where you live, um, has been beautiful and kind to you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.